I keep telling these people, they clip me. That's what they do, dog. If you go on YouTube and all this shit, what they do is it's, it's like... Triggered big time? Okay, here we go. Live. Turtles. I used to burn. Live. Turtles. Live. Turtles. I used to burn. Turtles. Live. Turtles. I used to burn live turtles in the keys. I used to burn turtles in the keys. Turtles. If you keep doing it, I'm reporting you to the FBI and I'm going to call the cops on you. You're going to end up in prison. You're going to end up in prison. Poor edits, P-O-O-R, edits. Very big fan of you. Thanks for having me back. It's an honor being here with you. This is my gun. This is my rifle! I have many like it. There are many like it! But I won't show you them. You wanna see them? Nah, I ain't gonna be uh, flashing any weapons or anything like that because um, I'm turning a new leaf in my life. What do I lie about? What do I lie? That, that ain't a lie, that's a Churchill, okay? This is a Churchill, <coughs> 12 gauge. All right, holds five rounds. This is a Churchill, baby. I'm one of those dads that ain't gonna play around either. Bingo, bingo, ready to go though. See that? You know what that means? That means the safety's off. Because I'm smart. This is called my Second Amendment. All right? I'm a responsible gun owner. Be one yourself. I'm a very responsible gun owner. How do you think I had nine restraining orders? Because I'm a fucking responsible gun owner, you numb nut. All right? I know what I'm doing. And so do my detectives. And so do the cops and everybody. And looking at my background and seeing that my dad was military... We ain't gonna get there. We ain't, we ain't gonna go there right now. I, I can't even tell you guys what he's done. Actually, I guess I could. He fucking buried people. You don't even know, bro. Like, you have you have no fucking clue. Buried people? Yeah, buried people. My pop buried people. I, I'm my father's son. You do realize you're talking to a Carter, right? We're very smart. I pride myself on my intellect. Weirdo. I'm a genius. Idiots. Then we can fucking kill you. Because we're very intelligent. We're not, we're not like you. We can fucking kill you. My daddy shot motherfuckers where they stood. I'm good in them streets. Always. I'm a fucking Carter. I'm my daddy's son. My dad was called the one hitter quitter. Okay. He was a, a G, bro. He was a G. But y'all don't even fucking have a goddamn clue about me. You have no idea. You have no fucking clue. Do you not see the splits and the scars and my fucking... These are from years ago, bro. All right? For real. Not, not, brah, brah. All right? GD for life. You don't even know where I fucking been. You don't even know where I been. Y'all know nothing about that shit. That's all good, GD, bro. GD for life, bro. That's how I go. That's how I go. GD for life. I'm a GD for life. Ask about me in Minnesota. Ask about me in St. Louis. Hey, Ask my mother, okay? Hey, Ask my mother. Let everybody know I'm a wave commander, all right? The wave commander, correct. 1622, I'm a descendant from the Mayflower. So I'm a wave commander. So don't think you know who you're talking to and who the fuck you're talking about. Because I will kill you. Okay? I will kill you. If I gotta end up in prison, alright, cool. I'll be good in jail. I will go to jail willingly. Alright? I'm good where I go. I'm good where I go. Yeah, I'm white. Okay? But th does that mean I ain't, th th that I ain't got GDs protecting me? Gang disciples? Trust me, I do. Like, 
But I got blood looking out for me. All right, so that's just how it goes. And protecting me, I mean, being there, good people. It's it's a great community. It's uh, it's 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 not the yet. All right, these are fucking real motherfucking. You already know. All right, so hard. I'm a role model. That's why. I'm a role model. I've been in from a community in a way that you don't even know. Trap star for life. You, sir, are not a role model? Oh, yes, I am a role model. I'm a gang disciple. Uh, go, go, it. I do my research, and that's it. That's it. Yes, I am affiliated, OK? I don't give a fuck. I'll put it up all day. You ain't gonna do a goddamn thing because I'm good. I am good. You good anywhere I go. Because GDs, listen, gang disciples, you don't know where I came from. Who the fuck you think I am? I'm from fucking Tampa, Florida. I, I, I am not a fucking California fuck boy. You got me fucked up with somebody else. Alright, so don't even think I ain't been on fucking the dead end in, in Patrol Hill. Alright, cause I've been there. I am a little white rapper, singer, thug from Tampa, Florida. Oh fuck with a real thug. I'm a real motherfucking thug and I'm gonna be there for the G a GD Game Disciples. I'm gonna be there. Whatever they need from me, I'm there. Period. I'm licking his ass and I'm sucking his dick. Period. So that's why when I can do this, it's so easy, bro. Like, you don't even know. Because none of y'all fucking, none of y'all real gangsters, none of y'all real Gs. I can back up everything I do. I don't talk to talk. I walk to walk. Talking to talk is not even in my vocabulary, nor is it in my, uh, any sort of thesis or theoretical terminologies. Cause I am a real fucking gangster, and you better fucking who, be careful who you talk to. And when you talk some bullshit, you better watch your back, motherfucker, because I will fucking fight you. I am a role model. What are you? I uh, yeah. What set you claim? Huh? It's a bunch of gangsters out here, man. Good. I'm with my. I'm in kind. the heart of this shit. I'm uh, good. I'm with my kind. I'm with my kind. Bunch of gangsters out here, man. Yeah, and I'm with my kind, and it's real, real. All right. Don't even test it. All right. Don't even test it. All right. Don't even test it. All right. Because the same motions gonna come back. The same motions gonna come back. The same motions gonna come back. All right. The same motions gonna come back. That's it. Patrol Hill. GD. I am gang affiliated. You better watch out. Um. What? What do you mean? Um. What? A GD gang disciple. What's up? What's good? Um, salute to you. What's up? What's good? Why y'all always gotta get that shit twisted? Look, boom, watch, boom. I can, I can say whatever I want. What are you gonna do about it? What are they gonna do about it? Hmm? I will show you my fucking ass, bro. I can show you my ass. All right. What you gonna do? What you gonna do about it? You ain't gonna say shit. I'm a GD for life. You fucking with the real, all right? I'm a fucking real ass motherfucking motherfucker, all right? I have bigger balls than every other guy, pretty much in the world. <laughs> it's, that's why I'm like, don't fuck with a Sagittarius fire sign. Because when you throw fire on a fire sign, we explode in a good way. We explode in a good way. Boy, mm, I'm telling you, like, you see these, come on, boy. Bro, listen, 305, baby, you don't even know what's good. But guess what? You don't even know. So, you can think what you want, but you're always wrong. I don't need jewelry on. I don't need nothing like crazy. <coughs> because I'm actually not crazy. I'm not crazy. So why would I act that way for your YouTube clips? All right, then I'm gonna fucking be crazy. But I don't need to be crazy for views. Fuck that. Everybody leave now. Get out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. 
hard? Yeah, I am hard. Like, I can act hard all I want. I am hard. My life is a testament to how hard I am. I'm not hard. No, fuck that. I'm a daddy's, I'm a, the product, I'm a product of my daddy's son. The product of my semen is my son. Are you kidding me? My dad, like, won awards for marksmanship shooting. My dad served in the Cold War. My dad, though. He would break a mailbox and smash your, your face over in the head with it and, you, and put you back in your bed and you wouldn't even realize it. What about you? Like, you ever been through trauma? Tell me about your traumas and allow me to start stopping on them for you. You know, a, a very truthful human being. That's who I am. I'm the kind of human being that I like to be held accountable for my actions. It's the person that I am. It's the, you know, the soul inside of me. I got spanked. Got spanked with a machete when I was seven years old. I'm more of like a country boy. I was raised that way. You know what I mean? I'm more of a southern, southern boy, you know? I didn't get any breast milk, but I sucked off a cow's titties when I was two years old. Mm-hmm. I'm a patriot. I, I respect the area, brother. You know, I'm a, I'm a pretty good judge of character. I'm a good, I'm a good, I'm a good judge of character. So, you know, I grew up Catholic. St. Christopher has kept me strong through my battles, but he's also been a dick fuck. I'm actually dealing with a chemical imbalance and the medical metal particles in my brain and in my lungs and my body and all my organs. It's like Crohn's disease. I might actually have Crohn's disease. <laughs> you thought I was a GD? What? Yeah. No, 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 nobody said that. People misconstrued stuff to try to make me look bad, put me in bad situations. No, this, no, this no, no. Stutter. But you were telling people you were going to get your goons, so why I'm scared now? Nobody ever said they're going to get their goons. <laughs> I will have 50 goons here. I got goons everywhere around me. Lancaster goons. Like, I'm not kidding you. I'm not scared of nothing, bro. I ain't scared of nothing. You think I'm scared of you? I think I'm scared of anybody. I am 100% afraid for my life. No man scares me, so. This person scares me. I'm scared for my life. Clearly, I'm not scared of anyone. I hope y'all learn that now. I'm in fear of my life. Most of the time, at, at this point, I don't, even, I don't even know who to trust. I don't know who to trust. Too many interviews with the FBI, bro, or the feds. <laughs> and they were making fun of me. So I stopped letting people that are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs affect me. We had a little more time, but moving on to the world of crystal meth hallucination. Superstar meth addict going up against a bunch of imaginary snakes. This is an actual real fight. I can't, I can't let these people get away with this shit so they're not gonna be they're not gonna degrade me and demoralize me and belittle me all right people are saying very horrible things to me and that's what you guys need to understand look at this you think it's okay to do this you think that's okay guys actually that's that's a hate crime so i'm taking down all of these cyber trolls they're gonna be ashamed when this becomes public news you don't fucking talk to people like that on the internet. When are you guys gonna fucking get this? What you're fucking doing is stupid. Everybody is over you, come on. Hmm, only someone who would say that would know if they were a part of a smear campaign. This person is clearly a part of a smear campaign. It's clear as day that people are jealous of me and... If people wanna play I'm a, uh, with me, you wanna play with my emotions? I'm gonna paint my face and I'm gonna show you who's boss. I'm gonna scare the shit out of you. Oh, you scared. Be scared. Hmm? 
Uh, all my LMGs, make sure you text me who I need to block and who I need to get out of here because I'm actually going to take screenshots of all that stuff and add it to the exhibits because they're all Discord people. They're, they're all the same conglomerate of people. And yeah. I know who all of them are. I know their generals. I know how they work. I know how they use their cryptid cur uh, currencies, cryptocurrencies. So one of my solid LMGs, let's make some calls to some to some people. Have you contacted uh, Brian yet? Brian Seacrest? You got the shit. Tweaking hard? Dude, you're going to get in trouble for that. You, 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 I'm, we're going to delete your accounts. Uh, there's a lot of you guys out there that are untreated, and that's why you say the dumb shit that you fucking say. Because you're fucking untreated, and I got treated. And I ain't tweaking, so fuck you. I, I can read everything. I can spit freestyles. I can rap right now. Ain't nobody tweaking. I'm fucking mad. So shut the fuck up, because you're going to get blocked. Anything you say. I'm the last motherfucker you have. You are a hillbilly. Yeah, I know. I ain't no hillbilly. Don't. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> come on, you idiots. Like, seriously. Like, come on. You know what I mean? Come on, dude. You're her this person is literally harassing me. So, let's just report you. Hate speech, clearly. I just report them for hate speech. Instagram is really locking down now and deleting accounts. I'm blocking you, you're harassing me, and I'm gonna call the cops on you. Call the cops. I'm a cop? Yeah, I am a cop. My dad was a cop. I'm a cop. You want me to free, free Britney? I mean, I probably could. I will sit here and tell you that I don't think that she's ready to be let off of her conservatorship. I met Britney. I know Britney. I don't think that she's ready to be let off of her conservatorship. I have money. I have power. I have the police on my side. I have the FBI involved. And I have the district attorney involved. The three different entities. I've already done it. I have my chain snatched off of my neck by some white boy. Caught him in two weeks with Detective Jarvis. Hi kids, I'm Detective Jarvis. You do know I have a private investigator on this for a year now, right? Oh no, you know, well... I don't have a private investigator, but... I already did hire a private investigator. Alright, you're not my mommy. Alright. BSP uh, got a new re Vegas residency. So did I. <laughs> did you know that? So did I. And? Like, this is not a pissing contest. Here, here we go. I'll piss again in my own back here. We're gonna take a walk outside today. Gonna see if we can piss today. On my green Bermuda grass. It's like that in Chico S. Did you win money on the masked singer? Um, I did, yeah. You heard that I'm off the musical. Yeah, that's because I decided to not do it. You know, I declined to do a job in Vegas. I didn't want to do the show because it would have ruined my reputation, okay? And I was going to be walking out on stage with a fucking cold penis. I'm still relevant. You can Google me right now and there's something about me today that's out. If you look me up on Google right now, I'll say American Rapper. I'm very relevant. I don't need to fucking come at you in some sort of narcissistic way to be like, yo, I'll make this, I'll make this. 75 million records sold. All right, come at me, bro. I made a over $800 million before I turned 18 years old. My, the, the love clothing line has made $3.8 million in three years. All right, I've sold over 75 million records in my career. I was able to redeem myself. Also, congratulations to me because I own 5% now of Celebrity Boxing. I'm done with Celebrity Boxing. That's an exclusive, Damon. We're no longer doing business. I got assets for days. I have multiple business ventures that I do. I'm growing Chocolope, which is a four-time cannabis cup strain. And I have the best bud in the world right there. And these right here. So, not to say what you want, but we have a dispensary that's blowing up crazy. You guys try managing a million dollar house that's 5,500 square feet and four, uh, four cars and, and four dogs. Are you kidding me? You're never going to amount to the man that I am, regardless of the 75 records, 75 million records, rather, sorry, that I sold. Uh, I have money, but that's okay. That doesn't mean anything. I'm trying to restart my life. I've been to rehab four times. I almost died. I lost my career eight times. When, okay, so you want to take a walk in my shoes? I went through bankruptcy. I don't know. I, I don't know why we're having a celebrity conversation. Some, 
I've sold 75 million records. I've done Dancing with the Stars. I've done Broadway twice. I've been in many movies, many TV shows. I'm not a celebrity, man. Fuck being a celebrity. I'm just a dude. What's my position? Being a celebrity, 26 years in the public eye. Half a billion streams, 3.7 million records sold. I did the Walmart tour by myself. I got an $800,000 house that we live in, my second home. Who does that? Four car garage, hot tub, um, the biggest fucking couch in the world. Guinness Book of World uh, Records breaker for Beat Michael Jackson. I had this jacket. I got a brand new water heater. Oh, I got a fucking apocalypse freezer, okay? Look how many keys I got. Let's keep going. All right. An 1823 Brombach. Look up, Google how much it's worth. 1823 Brombach. The fucking jokers. I own this shit. This shit's mine, bro. A year ago, I couldn't even keep fucking 20 grand in my account. Now I'm six figures every day. I make eighty to $90,000 a month. I don't want a tour. I haven't had a concert in three years, and I'm laughing all the way to the bank every day. We travel the world. We go see the snow. We wear the finest things. All right, we eat the finest things. Um, <laughs> Random ass, $20,000 fucking silver fox for a code. Just chilling. Let's move you, baby. All right. So I just bought this bad boy right here. Uh, this was about $18,000. It's just kicking in now, so. First of all, I'm, dri I'm driving no, but this guy while being on Instagram Live. So I'm, I'm gonna be very careful, as I always have been. Oh, I'm good. Tire rod is busted. Boys and their toys, yeah. $18,000. Uh, I, I had a mild concussion afterwards. Things didn't I, babe? I got a mild, yeah, I got a concussion. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what life is. Life is a series of storms from different angles. I'm just smart. I made smart investments. Like, uh, Backstreet Boys must be jealous of me because I was kicked off of their concert I'm boycotted. That's what it is. I'm boycotted because of people like the Justin Bieber's of the world and their managers. And they're always trying to shelf me because I'm their fucking nightmare. There's this underlining smear campaign, cancel culture, troll boycott thing that we're all going through. I want nothing to do with that. I want nothing to do with the the Scientologist people. Pizzagate, uh, c conservatorships, moderators, smear campaign, cancel cultures, uh, cabal, MP Ultra, Illuminati, Scientology, and, and all of that fucking shit. So, no, no. So, I'm really smart. It, it, it shows. Uh, just, just so you know, cancel culture, smear campaigns, Illuminati, that's just fake. It's not real. And that's what people need to understand. A lot of the stuff you're seeing, it's not real. Mm. It's competitors, or it's it's mostly competitors. Mm. What else is it? It's your competitor. It's your competitor doing it to fuck you up. And then also using skunk psychosis if you're smoking weed or something like that to be like, yo, Aaron, look behind you. Oh my God, something behind me. And make you look crazy and clipping. We know what you're doing. It is a new thing that is happening. Clipping, moderating. The, the witchcraft weird shit and the, uh, the taunting and the harassing. There's a conglomerate of Discord people, which is the cancel culture, which everything I do, they go to everybody. <clears throat> Smear campaigns, cancel cultures, trolls, people making up lies, doxing you. Um, it's even fucking homeless people with cell phones that are doing this. Those homeless people, all right, that I had to go see, all right, fucking homeless people. The more you do and the more success you get and the more money you get, the more problems you have. And me, it's been crazy because I've been boycotted, blacklisted. I've actually explained the troll mythology before uh, to people and I'll, and I'll do it again. It's, it's actually really brilliant. The theory of dragging a troll into the sun. Then they turn to stone. How brilliant is that really? Because I, I'm, I'm speaking from personal experience. I'm like, I'm... I'm a mathematician. It's not algebra. It's just, I'm a mathematician. Me being philosophical. I've already done the math. I'm not stupid. <laughs> you know, I don't jump into a water unless I know how deep it is. 
because I'm a fucking smart motherfucker. I will intellectually <laughs> destroy you. I'm too damn smart for these people. I I know the the protocols that they follow. I know what they do. I know how they do it. And I just battle it. I fight bullies, mom. That's what I do. I fight bullies. I'm an advocate for bullying. What's the protocol? What do you think? So protocol is something that it's put into place before uh, action. Okay, so there's a protocol. There's a protocol. Yeah, yeah, I fucked up. I did this, 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 and this. Just so you know, there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna come out and do this. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, boom. There's my protocol. And really, all, you have to go after the generals. You can't go after the, the, the peasants. You have to go after True. the generals. And the generals are YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I figured out the riddle. It's easy. I know who the generals are. I took them out. I took out the generals. Art of war. And you know what? Maybe I do regret my face tattoo, but I can always get it removed. The FBI and I, the FBI and I are handling that. Yes, I'm getting my tattoos removed. I don't like spam accounts. Stop messaging me from spam accounts. Yeah. A face tattoo is irrelevant in, in conjunction with this conversation. Like that shit was so t like 2020, like the box. Every everyone else figured it out now. I, I really, I promise you, I figured out the riddle to it. You know, it's it's being diligent, calling police, making police reports, yeah. contacting the FBI. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. You just, I just filed a police report. I'm going right now to the courthouse. Huh? What do you want to do? Like, hey, you guys. No, fuck that. We got to smoke you. Oh, death threat. There we go, guys. No, oh, that's a written threat. That's a written threat. So, like, what that person just said is a written threat. I'll smoke you. That's a written threat. Sweetie, call the police. I, I, don't, I don't take shit. I don't take shit lightly when someone's threatening me and threatening my life and and I am in fear of my life of your conglomerate of people that you have been having attack me and working with Warren Kitt and Nick Carter and you're all gonna get caught you're all gonna get caught I'm taking you down I'm taking you down and I'm fully protected in my home you come to this house no one's ever invited so you come to this house you're gonna get pop pop art if I have to protect my, my dome and my temple, I'll do what I gotta do, you feel me? I got two massive German shepherds that will eat your face off. <laughs> right, I got the craziest security system in the world, All right? And you will be shot. I don't give a fuck, pull up. I got a cop across the street that lives there. Right there, there's a police officer that lives there. Right there, there's a police officer that lives there. What you think this is, amateur hour? I showed the police the picture of you with your gun. The police have been informed. Every neighbor has been uh, informed about un unwelcome vehicles. Back the fuck up. Because mm -hmm. the DAs and the cop police are watching you guys now too, so. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You need to stop it. Enough. Cracked out? Well, you about to lose your account. No, I ain't rethinking that. I'm calling the cops. So you get hey, right now. You need to call the cops. Hang up right now. Call the cops. Call nine one one. Enough is enough, guys. Yeah, it's enough. Enough is enough, though. They will catch you. Excuse me. What did you just say to me? They will catch me. Who's that? You talking to me? No, I want to know why you said they will catch you. What's that mean? I'm not going to take that as a joke. I don't play that kind of game. They will catch me. Hmm? Like they'll catch me slipping and shoot me or something and kill me? Is that what we're trying to say? They will catch you. Okay, so it's Johnny underscore Donald say they will catch me and kill me and shoot me. That's what it's Johnny just, just said. All right, cool. Um, I'll call, I'm gonna call the cops again. 
and I'm going to call your female district attorney. And then I'm going to call the FBI again, too. How are you doing? Um, I'd like to report on online crime, a terrorist, somebody threatening to kill me. Called a non emergency line. He's, he said, I'm going to body this guy. We got that. So, therefore, that's a terroristic threat, which is um, actually set punishable to uh, seven years in prison. I have five felonies. If I wanted to strike, I could hit them with five felonies. I've got five police um, reports. Five. You talk your shit, all right? Do what you got to do, bro, bro. Um, but I, I am letting you know. You're going to break big laws, and I'm, I got everything paid attention to. And, and these officers just got finished telling me, you have a civil class act lawsuit, and it's going to end up leading to Nick. Don't send me threats, because you're threatening the last fucking dude you should ever be threatening. All right? Criminal charges, criminal threats, criminal threats. Criminal threats with a case number, okay? Dumbass. Certain people um, are really just abusing the internet, you know? Stop trolling the internet, stop trolling me. With your malicious intent, it will never amount to what you think it will amount to. My mom, my mom is gonna be mama bear and she would, she would tear you apart. Like, I got my mama bear. My mama bear gonna protect me. You know, I'm gonna protect you. You don't know my mom, one, two. Who died made you my mom. My mom's still alive, so fuck off. So she could talk to anybody and they'll pick up her phone and Elton John will pick up the phone for my mother, just so you guys know. Mm. So, my mama loved me. My mama loved me and, and she was involved in all of this. Also had a couple other officers involved. The FBI is going to come and raid your house and... Alright, so, BAM! Third eye activated. I'm a real motherfucking man. Alright? And I'm not corny and I'm not fu Oh, shut up? Yeah. All the real true LMGs start flooding his comments. What is LMG? LMG is a group of individuals that stand up for internet cybercrime and cyberbullies. That's it. <laughs> That's what LMG means. The Love Movement Gang. They're yeah, we will. LMG will destroy your channel. LMG will dox the fuck out of you. I'm going to dox the fuck out of you and call your parents and your grandparents and expose you and take the screenshots and send it over to them. I literally got to all of you. Expose your name, who you are, what you are, what you're about. Two-faced fucking bitches. We see you, my lionesses. We'll rip your fucking throat out and bring it back to me to eat my lions then. Go watch the fuck out and take those analytical terms very seriously. I'll sell my watch for 180 grand and take down everybody. You're fucking with people who have good reputations, actually, um, uh, unbeknownst to you. I do all my public relations and I'm, I'm one of the top five just people in the world. Me? I'm so, I'm incredibly intelligent. Because I learned to use the, the haters as motivation, straight up, really. I'm gonna address all the shit that people keep talking about in my music. And you know what? It's probably gonna take me like two or three albums, you know? To, to uh, two or three years to get to the album. Next album, so. Straight up. So, I, I, you know me, I finished a whole album in a week, straight up. So, and then I'm releasing the album on my mom's birthday, March 9th, even though she suffers from alcoholism. I'm currently working on my new album. It's called Identity. My new album is called Identity. My album's called Identity? I, I'm comfortable with my identity. My own sister, Bobby Jean Carter, stole my identity. And that's the name of my new album. I'm not in any rush, really, when it comes to, um, like, doing music or anything right now. I don't need to do music shit. I don't care. I do it because I love it. So I'm starting my album right now. I'm making my music, and I am in my elements. And I'm not going to stop. I'm a solo artist, and I'm going to continue to evolve. And that's kind of where I'm going now with my, my music. It's more of like a Sting Peter Gabriel type of vibe. 
I mean, I got I don't have a a piano tattooed on my arm right here for no reason and mm. on my heart. Another piano. I'm a musician. I got a MIDI keyboard tattooed here. I got a, a microphone here. I got a Neumann right here. I got a baby grand right here. I've been doing tattoos on my face to, because they took my guns away. I have love right here, which also means lion, lion, love on my neck, all the way up to the Medusa who protects me and represents karma and women being raped. So, I'm ugly. I'm beautiful, baby. Well, I'm the prettiest. I'm I'm the prettiest you ever seen. Call me pretty boy. No, I'm not single. I'm engaged, and I'm getting married, and we're gonna conceive a child. All right. I'm gonna be a daddy, which I've always wanted to have my own family. Mm, you know, I got a kid coming along the way, but I don't think I'm ever gonna stop being who I am. We have a very healthy baby on the way. Uh, fiance is four and a half months pregnant, and I'm 34 years old, and I have a kid on the way. You know, I'm, I'm engaged. I'm about to have a baby on the way, you know. Uh, my fiance is high risk pregnancy, so I have to focus on that and that alone. Yeah. You know, she knows I'll come on here and say what up to you guys for a little bit, then I have out. Or am I still HIV negative? I have a baby on the way. What's right, wrong with people? I got a baby on the way, all right? The fuck? I have a baby. I have a baby girl on the way. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, dude. And stop trying to do things that are gonna make me respond in a psychological type of way that's gonna get me in trouble. But you're gonna fucking bring back the Joker and I'm not fucking kidding you. You're gonna bring back the Joker and you know what that means. Be careful what you do and what you say. Pop, pop. I'm actually going to pick up like three new guns today. Better watch your back, fool. You better get a restraining order on me. You know who I'm talking to, you better get one. I will slice your throat open. I told you I was a fucking lion. Don't fucking play with me. I'll fucking catch you, bro, at 11D. I'll get the fucking W, bitch. I'll fucking catch you. You want me? Like, fuck all the trolls, your mama, your daddy, your uncle, your auntie, everybody. Fuck everybody. Y'all act like I'm some little pussy-ass fucking pussy, like Nick. I ain't that. Yeah. Like Nick? Little pussy ass fucking pussy. Like, like my brother? So, and my brother and I don't get along. We have a very bad beef. Uh, it's just, it, it, we don't really like each other. I don't talk about him. He don't talk about me. Obviously, we don't get along. I think it had to do with maybe Nick wanting to be the superior Carter. And then Nick using his kid to send a subliminal message to me. Whoa, dude. Whoa. So he's mm. nonstop copying and trolling his little brother. Nick wanted to kill Melanie and our unborn baby that's about to be here in seven days. Oh, Nick, uh, Nick allegedly wants to kill my unborn baby and my wife. My brother wants to kill my unborn child and wife. Hey Nick, if, if you say that again, I'm gonna punch you in the arm. Yeah, Nick was, uh, Nick was making fun of my shh in his video. Yeah, I know, I was like, okay, okay. Get out of my life. Stop acting like an artist. You're not an artist. You're no different than Britney Spears. Tell him he, but he has 24 hours to cease and desist. I don't want anything to do with him. I don't want anything to do with my sister unless they apologize for what they did. Their malicious prosecution, racketeering, extortion. I don't ask for an apology from them. I just asked for them to respect me as an adult. And I want an engraved apology from all of you who doubted me. You need to believe in me. All right, you need to apologize. Two brothers shouldn't be fighting. Yeah, we did some shit. We said some shit that some stuff was true, some wasn't true, but it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't want to waste my time with auditing him. I don't want to waste my time with hiring attorneys. We ain't wasting no time. We ain't wasting anybody's time. And like I said, if he wants to fly after me, I'm going to let him fly. I believe in myself, and I also don't take money from people uh, for no reason. So... Can't wait for you to start asking for donations again. I don't need that donation from anybody. Because I can provide for myself, my mom, my, my, my wife, my, my kids, and, and myself. All right. So I own a big-ass motherfucking house. Got it with my own money. 
and never ask for a handout. And I'm also going to be opening up a GoFundMe to raise $100,000 for the independent projects that I'm working on. Can anyone donate $1? Real fans, please donate. Donate, 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 donate to your boy because I donate, 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 donate. So I hope uh, that you donate to the, um, to the, the, the GoFundMe because that's what smart businessmen do, you know? Don't come at me with being an e-bagger because you guys fucking suck Nick's dick and his butthole. All right, so. Everybody needs to message Angel and say you're being mean still to your brother. All LMG. Just raid her account. Nick, Laura, and Angel, you should be ashamed of yourselves. They tried to use my mom last year to get me 5150. My mom told all my siblings to go fuck themselves. And that's why that didn't happen. <coughs> so Angel, Nick, Lauren... I will end them for good. <laughs> They'll break their necks and they won't even bleed a drop. And the one who would get it the most is Lauren Kit Carter, Nick's wife. That sounds threatening. Yeah, it is a threat. Of course it's a threat. Oh. All right, you better tread lightly and be careful. Tread lightly. You better protect yourself. You know what? You can't even protect yourself. The restraining orders went away, didn't they? So this is right to you, okay? It's my fucking family, not yours. <laughs> Got here, nigga. N-word. No, I didn't say that. What do I lie? You are one of the realest. Would you are a realist fuck, nigga? It is what it is, but I'm a good person. I've proven that. I, I don't get in trouble. I haven't gotten in trouble. But uh, I'm on 12 months probation, big dog. Right now. I'm on a year of probation right now. I got DUI twice. I got locked up for six days and then I got locked up for three days. You think I'm scared of jail? Hell no. They love me when I go to jail. I've been in jail fucking six times. I've never gotten in any trouble. What did I ever do besides dedicate my life to putting smiles on your faces? I don't have nothing to be sorry for. So you fucking suck a dick. I would fuck, fuck you. You know what I mean? Hey, we did trash that room last night. <laughs> we did trash that room last night. <laughs>people could turn around my words but but guess what i'm gonna turn them around right back around on, on, the, on themselves take, take a fucking short walk off a long pier supposed to get a blue hoodie from your your site i don't know i've been trying to since um i it was july 4th i uh did a hoodie thing so one of your blue hoodies mm. so, no, when it's supposed to be coming. It's, it's a plot. It's a scheme. It is what it is. I mean, I have money now, and that's all that matters. Like, really, when it comes down to my finances, it's yeah. none of anybody else's business. Because no. I'm going to become a model. I'm trying to become a model. You know, of modeling. I wasn't on drugs last night. <laughs> I was tired. Very tired. Very tired. Don't, don't imply that I'm doing drugs i don't do drugs you don't know what the fuck you're talking about you're not a doctor all right i've been to rehab all right i got sober from huffing dust you can in 2019 i'm i'm four years sober now um i don't do drugs <laughs> zero zero drugs no drugs no drugs over here I never did drugs. I never did drugs. You know, I could actually be an RN at this point in my sobriety. I went to rehab four times. Mm -hmm. I huffed duster cans and went to rehab for it. I went to rehab for huffing duster cans. Uh, I just talked to my doctor like three days ago. I was like, yo, I need some help getting off some cigarettes. I need some help getting off some cigarettes. I have a problem with cigarettes and I need to get off. Like I have to take like eight different medicines just to help with, with what I, I go through, so. Yeah, so only marijuana. That's it. And uh, so I'm, I'm Cali sober. I, I took two milligrams of Xanax already and Seroquel, and I'm normal. I talk. I'm not tired. Nothing. And I take, have to take gabapentin three times a day. 
I'm on a couple of mood stabilizers and they, they help me tremendously. Crack, cocaine, meth, heroin. I've done them. Look at where I am today. Look at where I'm at today. Um, I take Xanax because I actually have to take it. And it's a, it's a Neurontin that helps you with, you know, your receptors in your brain from the damage that you do. Yeah, so only marijuana. That's it. IPA, yeah, IPA, 9%. You better fuck, fuck off right now. Am I drunk? Mm, getting there. I'm going to be drunk soon. And she's going to have to deal with it. <laughs> And she listens. We had to some big, big fucking fights. And she listens. We've been yelling and fighting too much lately. I can't hear my fucking high C's right now. So I'm threatening to kill my wife. She won't even kiss me. Wow, bitch. You're a bitch. Come on, get inside, baby, immediately. She, um... Needs to be disciplined a little bit more because she's been breaking some rules. Babe, shut up. Oh, baby, I made a mess over here. How are you? Babe, babe. Just toss it to me. I'll catch it. <laughs> wow. They say they say you're bossing her around. Oh, babe, what do you? You got you have the door wide open, sweetie. And she just pissed on the couch. You, oh, mom, hold on. Hey, he's gonna go to the bathroom with my clothes. Um, babe, he's going to the bathroom with my clothes. Come on. Um, she's trying to make my life hell, so she's just squatting. Basically, my fiance was on OnlyFans when I met her. Uh, she was imported from Newtonburg, Germany. And now she works at a Ruby Tuesdays. This is our relationship, not yours. Bossing her around. You're bossing me around by telling me that I'm bossing my fiance around. You don't tell me what my wife needs. She's fine. She's fine. Me and that chick can just agree to disagree. You fuck with my boy? This is my man right here. I'll take a bullet for him, he'll take a bullet for me. He's teaching me how to cultivate. This guy is a, a, a nation re a renowned uh, cultivator. He loves me. And I smoke weed with him. That dude has a big dick. I took pictures of it! You are such a good man. I'll be waiting for you with my shirt off, all right? I'll let you boy. So we can do this, big man. In, in regards to the pandemic in regards to uh, my family. Bro, I'm not vaxxed. Are you vaxxed? I'm an anti-vaxxer. So the Backstreet Boy fans that are sitting here watching and clipping and making it for your YouTube. There's your clip for your YouTube for your $14. Go fuck yourself. I was raised by a military policeman father, and I'm proud of the man that I am today. I'm proud of where I've gotten. So, I just want to say to everybody, thank you so much for supporting, um, for supporting my mom, my mother and I's relationship, because none of the rest of the family, uh, even remotely comes close. I, uh, I guess I'll just have to start looking away f from all this you know, the negative stuff. Because now BSB fans are trying to trigger and, and get people to commit suicide. Even little kids. I'm, I'm gonna be straight up with you. Uh, I, know, I know we're coming to an end, but I just wanna say that, um, I'm just, I just wanna say thank you. Just, just for, um, you helped me a lot more than you think. You. So, thank you. Everybody that's here, Send a comment right now. If you guys want, you guys are more than welcome to send gifts. I know you guys are so beautiful. And that's it. Alright? That's it. That's it. Alright, take care. Alright? Oh. I'll see you guys um, uh, in concert. Or on TV. You take his what he said on the doctors with all those pills, and then you look at the guns he has in the trunk of his car, and I don't know if there is more of a warning sign. I just had a son.
turning my life around. What's going on here? Thank you. I win, CPS. You can't take my child. Sorry, ain't gonna happen. Mm, bye. Hope you enjoyed the show. Bye. So, love you, Aaron. Hope you get sober. So staged? Why the fuck would anybody stage something like this? What if there's somebody that is a professional and a producer or something that's watching this and they see this stuff? I was dead for three days and I came back to life. I was brain dead. My mom said I was a gangster. This is a remix I made for Gucci Man. Listen to this. This is my song. This is my track. This, are you kidding? Ever? This is dub trap EDM, a new genre I invented. It's just shove it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. Fuck you guys. So fuck you. Stop. Fuck you. Fuck you again. Fuck you guys. Alright, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Suck my dick, bitch. Don't get it twisted. Hey, Migos, if you hear that track, it's all yours. Trap star for life.